Hello everyone, it's us again. We're in Salt Lake City. We're home. Just our... moved here a month ago. We finished a wireless travel trip, which is sad because it was cool, but it was time to settle down. In this vlog, which is the last one of the A Wireless Travel series, we're gonna answer the questions that you guys asked us in the last few weeks. Like your vlog from the beginning, do you intend to make a whole movie of your trips? Yes. <laughs> yes. When we started the project, that was one of the things we really want to do is re-document and share our old journey and doing a full-length movie. It's not going to be in the next few months, but you'll see it coming for sure. From Munti, if you were to do it again, would you skip some areas you've been to and would you go to some you've not been? We would not skip any areas we went to because we love them all. We would probably go to all the countries we haven't been to. We could have a lifelong trip if we wanted. From Guitars, Bags and Pie. Uh, which areas were your favorite? And which areas had the best bang for your buck? With no doubt our favorite place was... Peru. Our second favorite place that's in common between Charlotte and I is... Greece. Greece. And then the third one for me always changes. It depends on my mood and who asks and like what memory jumps in my brain. So I've said Madagascar, I've said New Zealand, I've said the Grampians in Australia, I've said the Rocklands. There's a lot of amazing places, so it's really hard to narrow it down. Best bang for the buck. Peru was pretty cheap. Cheap, but with big reward. Yangshu, pretty reasonable lodging and food is super cheap. Madagascar? Serbia was. Yeah, you got a lot of bang for your meat there. <laughs> Hope they include climbing footage of climbing around Salt Lake City. I moved there to go climbing, lived there for a year and barely scratched the surface. There is no question there, but I like the first thing you hope we include some climbing footage around Salt Lake City. Actually, our vlogs will continue. Won't be the World of Travel series. This is gonna be the... We have no name yet. <laughs> They're gonna come out twice every month and it's gonna be climbing in different areas around Salt Lake City like our take on them and maybe some indoor bouldering we have a wall that we can demonstrate that on and we'll be setting them anyway so that'll be something fun outdoor excursions yeah outdoor course. excursions whether it's skiing or snowboarding or taking one of the scooter birds around town hitting some jumps you're only gonna see him in those she'll film Denny don't know if you covered that Dennis. In French, we say Denny. But All right, Denny Dennis. Don't know if you covered that elsewhere, but what did you make of the hula balloon about bolting in Nepal? Will it change anything in the way you proceed next time? Um, well, the way we proceed everywhere we've been for development has been before we get in the countries, contacting the local climbers, asking them for like ideas where we could develop, maybe places they thought they could be potential but they never went for it. Then we make sure it's okay with the local communities, villages, the town, the landowners. We make sure it's okay to be on their property and develop climbing there. And when that's done, we attack bolting. I would not change anything in the way we proceed next time. Maybe we would be more clear on how we're bolting and why we're bolting in these areas. I think some people that watch the videos just got the idea that we just showed up and started putting bolts in a rock and hoped that the locals approved of it, and that was not the case at all. Okay, Charles vlogs be missed. Very keen to see what comes out of Salt Lake City. I would be, it would be cool. I need my glasses. It would be. Oh, I just dropped coffee on me, Charlotte. Oh, and on the carpet. All right, break. You cool to see some episodes of Projecting Harder Climbs that you can spend more time on. Yeah, that's a good call, Nick. Now that we're in a zone for a longer period of time, we'll be picking harder projects. What chalk do you guys use? Please. Paul Mitchell, we use Friction Labs. All right, from Cayman, had a short heart attack, thinking we would not see any more vlogs from you. Ooh, don't worry. I hope Saddle Down will work out for you. It did. Must be tough for a first while. Josh, will you coach the American climbers if they will qualify for the Olympia? Yes, I moved to Salt Lake for coaching the US team, setting and traveling with them. So I'll be working with our combined team as we prepare for World Cups and prepare for the qualifying events for the Olympics in 2020. When we have athletes that qualify, I hope to be there. Are you planning to go to Italy? For sure, at some point. As long as you don't run out of gelato, we'll be back in Italy. 
What are your must do things in New Zealand? Favorite routes and sites? Ooh. You must go to Castle Hill and Flock Hill if you're a boulder. Our other very favorite place to go climb is down in the fjords, in, uh, in the Durrance, Milford Sound, uh, Little Babylon, however you want to call it. The best approach of the old trip. And then you're in that little garden and climbing on beautiful uh, granite rock. For sites, the South Island is so diverse. You have beaches, rainforests, mountains, cliffs, boulders, cities. It's a really cool place to travel and the first thing that jumps out is like hanging out in Wanaka and Queenstown. A lot to do from those towns for outdoors, so good place to start. Can we have slightly longer vlogs, Kyle? Yes? Yeah. We could and we can and we might. Greg, how do you decide on Salt Lake City for your new permanent home? J-O-B. How and when did you start climbing? Wait, this is a good name. Benilajo. Alright, you have to answer this in 15 seconds. Count. I started climbing the outdoors when I was really young with my dad and brother. It was more in the Alps and in the mountains. And when I was about 9 or 10, I started climbing indoor and I could not stop from them. Boom! You have 11 11. seconds! Was it good? Yeah, it was really good. I visited my uncle in Idaho where we just were and I found a climbing wall up there. The climbing instructor said, hey, if you climb one of these routes, I'll give you a harness and you can go home and start climbing. And that's what I did and I fell in love with it, found a gym, found a climbing team, and has... Have it, but we just haven't stopped yet. <laughs> <laughs> do you guys do any hard A climbing on your trip? Uh... Ryan! Wait, is Ada trad or Ada is pulling on Ada's Ada is pulling on gear, so we did that when we couldn't pass us trucks and sport climbing. Why are they over what caused it? Well, we already went through that. Yeah, Dylan, we yeah. stopped. But it was sad, like just to finish that big dream trip. Big fan of your adventures, the vlogs are great, and the destination video is even better. I have a question for you. Were you concerned about keeping your shape level of fitness throughout the world tour? Did you do anything in particular to address the issue? Thanks. Hugo! I think we were concerned about it because climbing harder things and projecting is one part of climbing we like to do. We had a little hangboard, could do like finger strength and pull up. Because we were climbing all the time, it was hard to do that in addition to it. We just maintained a level that we could easily maintain and accepted it. It's kind of what you have to do, I guess, in, in those scenarios. Lower your expectations, unless you really want to like spend a couple of first two weeks of your trip somewhere training for it, which doesn't make sense. Hugo! <laughs> Hugo from Epic TV, do you have any lucky send bits of clothing? To sum it up, we didn't have a lot of clean clothes. That's it! <laughs> <laughs> that was the last question. Well, that was pretty awesome. Um, thanks guys for a cool variety of questions, even yeah. if I know you didn't plan it together. Next vlog, because there is a next vlog, it's gonna be us arriving in Salt Lake City, finding a place to stay and trying to figure out the area. Yeah. Because there's some tricks to it. 